NASA's Orion spacecraft reached the moon on Monday, completing a record-setting lunar orbit that brought it within 80 miles of the moon's surface as it went around the moon's back. The crew capsule and its three test dummies were on the far side of the moon when the close approach took place. A half-hour blackout in communications meant that Houston flight controllers didn't know whether the crucial engine firing went smoothly until the spacecraft emerged from behind the moon, more than 232,000 miles from Earth. It's been 50 years since NASA's Apollo program, and this week's launch of the Orion spacecraft atop the enormous Artemis rocket marked a major milestone in the $4.1 billion test mission. The orbit of Orion put it directly over the locations of the Apollo 11, 12, and 14 landings, the first three human landings on the moon. Video broadcast back early this morning showed the moon becoming bigger and larger as the spacecraft neared the last few thousand kilometers. Pictures of Earth, a blue dot in the middle of darkness, were relayed back by the capsule's cameras as it swung out from behind the moon. In order to reach the wide, asymmetrical lunar orbit, Orion had to slingshot around the moon to get enough speed. If everything keeps going as planned, the spacecraft will reach its target orbit on Friday after another engine fire. Soon after this weekend, Orion will surpass the roughly 250,000-mile record for a NASA spacecraft meant for humans, established by Apollo 13 in 1970. Also, it will continue on its way until next Monday, when it will be 270,000 miles from Earth. Nearly a week will pass while the capsule orbits the moon before it returns home. The 11th of December will see a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. Since Orion lacks a lunar lander, the next human landing on the moon won't occur until 2025, when NASA will use SpaceX Starship. However, in 2024, at the earliest, astronauts will board Orion for a trip around the moon. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.